Good afternoon and welcome to episode number 645. It's International Women's Day. Now what? Yeah, I'm going to stir up some things I think with this talk. Um, before I jump into that though, welcome to my broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker and relationship attraction expert. I should say a love and relationship, ex uh, love and relationship attraction expert, if that makes sense helping women create balance in love, life and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine which is why I do these talks every day which I've done for over two years now called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart and today we're at episode number 645 and it's Facebook Live first then I'll be on YouTube as a replay so I'll tell you the links how to find that at the back end. <clears throat> today is in fact uh, International Women's Day and I, and I put at the back end now what because I want to unpack this a little bit. First of all, a deep bow and, and appreciation for women everywhere. I mean, my, my work is around supporting women and being the feminine, being in charge and running their lives from a place of heartfelt authority. It's my juice, my passion, my, my service because I see how much women can change the world. And I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, as I said, so that's all part of what I do. So this is an interesting day for me. Not, not for me personally, but because I see the viewpoint about some people seem to think, okay, let's give women one day and we can get on with their lives the rest of the year. That's kind of what I've been running through my head today. I was actually reading some interesting articles about the new Captain Marvel movie, of all things, because there's a um, lens through which people view women that is, even though it's women heroines in this context, still being looked at from this viewpoint of, um, like, let's do them a favor type thing. It's not out of just simple equal respect. And this is the thing I want to talk about because this, this is the thing that's been bugging me lately. I've been talking in my, talk, in my talks over the last few weeks, especially, I've been talking about this a lot more, about we have this thing where we're accommodating versus just simply having an equality that is automatic. And International Women's Day for me portrays the paradigm where women aren't just being responded to as equals. It's a specialness that's been put onto the agenda because we are simply in a place where we don't have that uniform equality that we really, frankly, we need. And this, this whole thing, by the way, and it's interesting because it's International Women's Day, not just Women's Day, which means that it is meant to cover the whole world. And we have a very diverse array of country laws and um, rules which respect women to different degrees or not. You know, Saudi Arabia is very different from India, which is very different from the United States, which is very different from Ecuador, for example. It's not all the same. So I'm really probably at this point speaking more of, more for the Western anglicized, or I should say the Western world, so Europe and America mostly, although Europe's different too. Um, having lived in Europe, there's definitely some different cultural things going on there than there are over here. And even in this country, there's a lot of diversity from one part of the country to the other part of the country about how women are treated and respected. And this is, I guess, the key point I want to make, is that we have a we have an option, I'll put it this way first, to raise the standards, to raise the bar, to raise the, com raise the conversation to the point where we supersede the old sexist paradigm that we've been running for the last two, three hundred years. We have the opportunity to view the world, to view each other, to view our culture as an equal place for everybody. Independent of gender, independent of color skin, independent of sexual preference even, or religious choices. But we're not there yet. So events like International Women's Day, like Black History Month, because this, by the way, this is not only uh, International Women's Day, this month is Women's History Month. Yeah, women get a month. African American people get a month. There's something in my head that just goes, there's something out of balance with this. And yes, I know I'm a white guy, of Jewish heritage, but still there's this feeling there's that there's, it's, it's like we're not yet at the place where our culture has an, equal, an, uh, an inclusiveness and equality and a simple understanding and respect for all choices, which is why we still need to have these days. And I'm saying it that way intentionally because I feel like what we're doing is we're holding on to a claim to being better than we really are. 
Yeah, I'm speaking culturally now. This is getting a bit bigger than I planned, but it's the way it's coming out. We as a human race forget that we are one human race. It's this thing about separation, distinction, better than, less than, rules and, and regulations to diminish. And yes, I said, I've been reading, you know, there's been some interesting reading today, including about Captain Marvel movie, the way that it was set up as a, in some ways, lip service to feminine heroines versus just being a heroine who happens to be female. And that's the shift. And that was the thing that I noticed. And, and the article was interesting because it did provoke some stuff in me. First of all, I was like, you can't say that. But then I started thinking about it and going, okay, hang on, I see what they mean, I mean by this. It's this understanding that the right person for the job is the right person for the job who may be female, may be male, for example, versus we need to put more women in jobs. This backwards approach, this... Um, Hmm. this old-fashioned viewpoint is still, pre is still prevalent in our culture and still overriding our choices. So for me personally, the now what for me is we aren't yet at the place where we're evolved enough where we just realize that it's like we do, the, we do what we do in life as a, as a way it is versus making special cases. Oh, special cases. I haven't talked about those for a while. Ah, okay. Special cases. Let's talk about that for a second. There's a... <laughs> I want to say this. People, people have this tendency to look through this lens of privilege. That is a perspective where... Um, I want to say this. It's interesting because it just it hit me like this, like this junk... Okay, let me rewind a bit first and then can see if we come this forward. So to recap one thing slightly, the difference of viewpoints from the right person for the job is the right person who happens to be a woman versus we need to have more women in the job is a very clear for me distinct break, a distinct di diverge, um, split in the viewpoint. So the special case piece comes up from when people basically think that they are special because of who they are. And it may be because of the way they look, it may be because of the color of their skin, their, their sexual gen their, their gender, their sexual preference, all these different things can make them feel like they're a special case. And to be honest, for a long time, the straight white male was that special case. And this is a discord we haven't changed yet. It's funny. This is, not, this is not political, but it has a sense of weight to it that I'm realizing there's more to it than just this piece. I guess, it's the, I guess for me it's the pendulum swinging. I'm just, I'm just sitting with the picture that keeps showing up. We have this swinging pendulum between where we've been and where we're going. Excuse me back where we've been. Hi Della, nice to see you my broadcast. Um, I'm unpacking some things. <laughs> so from where we've been to where we are heading, but not where we're supposed to end up. Because like a pendulum, a pendulum that isn't in balance will swing from side to side, from extreme to extreme. And so what we've got right now, I believe, is we aren't at the center at this point. So we've been going from the patriarchal society to an extreme on the other side, which is to have all these things for women because we have been un unfair to them for so long. And as I said earlier, the, the truth is, is that thing about we need more women in the job is this um, extreme one side versus when we come into balance where it's simply the right person for the job happens to be a woman or a man or whatever because we haven't found balance yet. And our cultural evolution is really retarded right now, frankly, from just seeing this. So the International Women's Day declaration, this day we have, and then this month for the Women's History Month, is all well and good, but it's a reminder we're not there yet. It's the simple, not simple way to say this. We as a culture, I include myself in this because I'm part of the culture, um, have, a, have a lot of room to grow yet. We're still behind the times and still missing on a lot of these areas where well, we haven't found a place where we just simply are in harmony, are in collaboration, are in alignment. So, um, 
it's funny, it's not a rant, but it's definitely feeling like there's no, I don't have an answer for this. I just know that we are not where we're supposed to be yet. That's what I'm going to say. I don't necessarily have the solution for it, but I do, need, I do know we need to talk about this. So this talk is part of something, I can say this. It's funny, some very interesting conversations the last few days. Besides my coaching work and what I've been doing with relationship-centric work, this message has been showing up a lot for me lately, which is how do we raise the bar? How do we raise the conversation? How do we elevate who we are as a culture? So there's no longer this right-wrong thing. It's about inclusivity. So, thank you, Dela. Yeah, we shouldn't even have that International Women's Day. Every day should, should be that. That by itself separates us again. Thank you. That's, that's what I was saying. Yes. Although I think we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't, it, it is about the fact that we have everybody winning, <laughs> being aligned, being authentic, being truthful. This is, this is really what's becoming more of my message in my work. So today, which is another reminder of that, as much as I have a deep bow and reverence for women in general, but it's not just one day a year I do this, this is every day. So yes, every day we should do that because we are not separate, but we pretend to be. So yes, thank you for that, Del. I, I agree with you and thank you for that. that feedback so um, that's really what I want to talk about it's not, it's not like it's a deep conversation it, it is excuse me it, it's not like a deep piece here but this is absolutely a deeper conversation we haven't had yet so this is a simple um, cliff notes version of a much longer conversation this is a wake up call for those people who just get complacent going oh yeah International Women's Day yay yeah and it's time we start really looking at a way that we live life, do life, and interact with life and see where we are making this bias and limited viewpoint about what life should really be. Ladies in particular, I invite you into this conversation because you may bring to the conversation, a, 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 well, you will bring to the conversation a different viewpoint from mine, certainly. But I'm aware also that there's a, there's a sense of um, entitlement versus automatic value. Entitlement, and this is what people do, people generally, will do things because they think they have a right to something because of who they are. Well, the truth is we all have a right to something because of who we are. So it's no longer entitlement, it's simply just divine right action, divine right choice, and it's a divinity that we forget we have about ourselves. So this is a starting point for me. There's more coming, I know. But I wanted to just get this piece on the table to have this out in the world to see if anybody responds. So thank you, Della, for responding. Well, somebody did. Um, of course, in the, in the comments, you may do so afterwards as well. So I'm just talking about live in action. I'm going to talk about this more further on. Maybe tomorrow we'll see. Um, by the way, I do still have those links on my page inviting people who want to ask questions about love and relationships as my birthday invitation from yesterday, just a sidebar, in case you have stuff you haven't thought about yet because you didn't see those posts. If you go f further down on my personal page, if you're watching this on my personal page, there are a couple of links where I said, ask your questions, and if you want to still do that, I haven't closed the door yet. So that's available to you as my gift. Um, this is my Facebook Live, by the way. I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, and I do it personally. I do it on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replay has gone to my business page, and then onto YouTube, and I'll give you the links for those. And you can respond and comment on either one of those places as well. So the replay is on Facebook, are on my business page which is facebook.com forward slash barry selby dot author and please like my page and you can watch them there and on youtube my channel is barry selby please subscribe to my channel and on there is a playlist called messages from the masculine and you can watch all these broadcasts there i do invite your questions and comments and if you want to share this with anybody or any particular places please do because this might be a clarion call it might be pisses pisses some people off we'll see this is just part of my viewpoint that I'm putting into words and there's more coming so uh, either stay tuned or get out of the way <laughs> thanks for watching I'll see you again tomorrow same time same channel 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my Facebook I'll see you again tomorrow